Peggy 16. My name is Christian Sadek, and I'm a senior designer here at Zipper Interactive. Today we're going to talk about the unique sharing and competitive aspects of our first PlayStation Vita game, Unit 13. We'll also give you a little insight into the things you can do that take advantage of the great networking and social features of the device itself. One of the most compelling aspects of Unit 13 is that it's designed to be a fun and rewarding solo shooter, and something you can play with your friends, both cooperatively and competitively. The leaderboards are the most obvious competitive aspect of Unit 13. Like most leaderboards, we allow you to view your rank globally, regionally, by friends, or those near you. But unlike most leaderboards, ours aren't a passive experience. Instead, Unit 13's leaderboards actively inform you when you've set a new high score, and let you know when you've beaten a friend's high score in each mission. All rank missions are scored and posted to our leaderboard system, so as long as you're online, you're always competing against friends and getting updates on new high scores. The most exciting competitive element of Unit 13, though, is our daily challenge. Each day, a brand new mission becomes available for play that has been dynamically created with new objectives and enemy placement. How's that for variety? We'll have a dedicated leaderboard for daily challenges, but in a unique twist, we're only giving you one chance at competing in the challenge before the next day begins, making every decision, every objective completed incredibly important. Competing against your friends isn't the only thing that Unit 13 does well. Sharing with your friends is also a key feature of the game. Our cooperative multiplayer allows two players to join up and complete all direct action, deadline, elite, and covert missions together. That's 36 different missions in all. As an added bonus, all 36 missions also have dynamic versions that add even more co-op possibilities to the mix. We've even added unique co-op leaderboards that combine your scores and list you together. And in a unique scoring twist, reward players with more bonus points at the end for keeping their gameplay scores close and balanced to encourage teamwork. Another cool addition to Unit 13 is how we use its near feature to extend our gameplay experience. Normally, if you wanted to play a high-value target mission, you'd need to unlock access to it by collecting enough stars through regular play. Using near, players can share HVTs they've unlocked with other players for a limited time. During this period, players who have received HVT access through near can play those specific levels and compete on the high-value target leaderboards as if they had unlocked them locally. But remember, near HVT access is limited, so if you want permanent entrance to the high-value target levels, you'll have to unlock them yourself. As you can see, Unit 13 has something for everyone. We hope you enjoyed our developer briefing series, and we'll see you on the leaderboards. My name is Christian, thanks for watching.